Hello everybody. Well, today is the day, June 21st, 2022. Painter 2023 has been released. Now, as you know, most of the time I have a class that I start called uh, What's New in the New Version. Basically, it's, I mean, that's what the class is about. But I'm not going to do that this year. I've been kind of on sabbatical and taking it easy. And so I'm going to do the same thing with this um, uh, not, uh, cat. Get down. Move. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm going to not do a class, but I'm going to take you through everything I do to get ready for Painter 23, uh, 2023, and also how I set up my workspace and how I do everything. Um, and then once we get it all set up the way I like to have it, we'll explore together all of the new stuff and anything else in Painter. Um, so I'm going to just start making videos. I hope to make one, uh, at least one every day, preferably more than that. And you can follow along as I go. All right. <clears throat> So the first thing that we want to do after you've installed Painter, close it. And then <clears throat> what I usually do, I don't know why I do this, it's just a habit, but I reboot my computer after I've installed Painter. Now when I install it, I don't do anything to it. I don't, I don't uh, try to do the performance test or anything like that. I just install and close it. Then I reboot. Now I'm about to open up Painter for the first time, uh, first time since the install. And what I want to do is hold down the shift key. Now this is really important because it's going to set Painter up to its default settings and you'll be able to go in and get something going uh, quickly and easily and it'll be uh, much better for you. So holding down the shift key I'm going to come over to my panel here and zoom down to Corel Painter 2023 and click on it, still holding down the shift key. Once this panel pops up, uh, then I can release the shift key. Now, the next thing I want to do is I don't want to keep customizations. I want to get rid of all of this stuff. So I'm going to say restore all settings to factory defaults. Now, in theory, you shouldn't have any of this going on there because you've just installed Painter. If you do have stuff that you want to re-import into Painter, you can do that. But let's talk about what to do um, and how to do that as we go. Okay, so restore all settings to factory default. And I want to click on reset all workspaces. Now, there should be only one, but we just make sure by going reset all workspaces. Okay, Painter begins to open, and it's going to open in its default mode um, just the way Painter 20, 2023 would open uh, normally. And it should open to this optimization performance of Painter. So that's the first thing you want to do now is you want to optimize now. So we click on that. Make sure there's nothing else running in the background if you can. Now, I've got a recording running in the background, so that's going to affect my uh, uh, performance. Uh, it would probably be a little bit better than what we're going to see here, but we'll wait and see what it says and go from there. Okay, 850 is pretty low for my computer. It should be in the 1200 range, so I'm pretty sure that has to do with uh, the, <coughs> the running in the background. And I'm going to leave it like that for right now because I can always redo the brush once I, I, I'm off camera. Uh, and that, I tell you what, that's as far as we're going to go right now. I will stop this uh, video and uh, I will do the... Uh, performance test again when the uh, recording is not going and see if I get a better uh, setup. I'll let you know in the next video. Talk to you very soon.
Bye-bye.